Cam, just for you, what has the last few days been like and how did you find out that the organization was parting ways with Jock Vaughn? Uh, yeah, the last two days have been good. Uh, just going over some new concepts that, you know, KO's put in. But it's been good two days, uh, again, working, just knowing how he coaches, um, just knowing the concepts that he wants, the different coverages and stuff. So, you know, it's been good. And I found, I found out um, Sean told me, I don't even know. I seen on the internet something about that was like a prank or something. But, um, yeah, Sean, Sean called and, you know, informed me. So, you know, it's unfortunate, but, you know, just will come with it. But, you know. You don't want to see nobody lose their job at the end of the day. It's tough, but it's just what comes with it. What was it like to get that news coming out of the All-Star break and then just after kind of just the season that you guys have had with the just the ups and the downs? Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Um, you know, JV's been here since I got here. Well, not him. He's been before, but, you know, he was one of the coaches when I was a rookie here, just you know, figuring everything out. So, obviously, you know, it's tough not seeing him around, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to get wins. We got to make the playoffs. So, you know, the front office made the – decision that they felt was best for the team and us as an organization. So we just got to move forward and just try to stack wins up. Okay. In KO's case, one, you, you talked about, you know, little subtle changes. Um, for those of us on the outside, I mean, how might you guys, when his vision is complete, look a little different than you guys did under JV? I mean, more switching, less switch, go back to the drop, or offense look different. How might you guys be a little different team? You know, I can't say that now. We've got, we've got to play teams with the coverage. Yeah. I can't say that, but we'll be, definitely be more um, from what everybody said and, like, just be more physical, playing faster, more pace. Um, that's really the main thing to it. That really helps everything out, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see on Thursday. And K.O. said, you know, that when he saw you, you know, you were emotional. You gave him a big hug and whatnot. Why was it, you know, so emotional to see him get this job? Shit, I did that on um, JV. When I leave, when I leave the gym, just give him a dab and hug and shit. But you know, he just, he just pointed it out. JV ain't pointed out. He just pointed it out. So I mean, you know, I just gave him a dab. You know, you know, because I was about to leave, so I was like, yo, saying bye to him and shit. So, yeah, that's all it is to it. <laughs> but you know, I was good. Just seeing him get this opportunity, seeing what he did at UConn. You know, I was growing up. He was at UConn. You know, with all the great guards and stuff. So just you know, be able to play under him is kind of. Kind of cool in a way because at some point I wanted to go to UConn because they was producing great guards and stuff. So it was, it was pretty cool. It was a full circle moment in a way. So it was cool. Which, what team was your favorite of those UConn? Was the one that won a championship? I like the one where Shabazz and Ryan Bowright were the two main guards. Yeah, when they were like the underdog team, kind of. That was my favorite team. That was a good team. Kimba team was good too, though. I ain't can't count. Kimba and Jeremy Lamb, that team was good too, though. But. I know, I know uh, KL talked about like these energy generating behaviors. Um, we mentioned that to you guys. What, what were some of those behaviors, I guess, that kind of stood out to you that he, th he brought it to bring it to you guys? Yeah, just a uh, deflections piece. Uh, really just everything that sums all that up is just the, you know, like the energy is in the name. Because obviously, you know, everybody's saying we, we didn't have that energy. We weren't really playing hard. So I feel like, you know, this thing, the things that he pointed out will help us in that way. Just, just playing hard, playing physical, and just you know taking the fight to the team to start the game off instead of you know letting them punch us in the mouth and then we got to fight back all the time. So I feel like that will help us, you know, start the game off faster, start the game off stronger, and you know and, and take the fight to them. So it should be good. The coaching change also coincides with the healthiest the team has been even before preseason because Cam Johnson had the hamstring thing early. Yeah. How much does that on top of now Ko's voice? make this feel like just a new beginning or, or a new a fresh start for the group yeah it's good just um starting off fresh with you know when your full team is here technically instead of just you know plugging and playing like we was doing all year it was like we start off healthy and then somebody go down and we got to you know adjust on the fly and, and then that person will come back and then somebody else will go down and we got to adjust on the fly so hopefully we all can stay healthy and stay motivated again to the playoffs but you know it's definitely good to you know start off with a full, full healthy team to see what you guys see, with how you can coach us and stuff. So it should be good for him for sure. And then a, a couple times yesterday, KO just talked about how this wasn't all on JV, the coaching change. How does it, not maybe weigh on the players, but how does it feel to know that, okay, that's the change that happened, but do you feel like, no, it's all on him or how does that reflect on the, on the group as a whole? Uh, it's never all on him. Obviously, we're out there playing. We ain't get, we won't win it. Oh, we've been getting enough wins. Obviously, 
the objective of this sport is to win. And we weren't doing that. We was, you know, dropping some games, uh, not playing as hard. Again, you know, the last game was just kind of like tipping of it, you know, losing my 50 to Boston. But it's always on us. I mean, it's not always on us, but it's all both parties, uh, coaches, players, front office, on everybody. So we're not getting wins. You know, got to look at everybody, everybody look at stuff in the mirror. So, you know, that's, that's what we got to do. Everybody look in the mirror and see how we can improve as a group, as an organization to rally off these wins in these last 28 games. So that's all we got to do. Kale said after the Boston, last Boston loss that you wanted to see a little bit more structure and of a game plan offensively with Kevin now coming in. He said, you know, he's putting some new things in, but obviously you guys only have two days until the Toronto game. Is there, are there any changes on the offensive end that you are hoping to see? No, I just play, bro. I ain't going to lie. I just play. I just play offense. So whatever you want to do, that's what I'll do. Whatever you wants to put in, you, you know, I'll run it, but I really don't care, honestly. Just go out there, put a ball in the basket, and just try to get wins from it. So that's it. You always talked about the urgency of these last games, or the, not really, the games after the 41 mark. Does this decision now add to that urgency for you guys to just kind of get it right now that it is 28 games, 55 days, new coach? What, does, this, does it add more urgency to that now? Oh, no doubt, without a doubt. New coach uh, on the outside looking at the play in. Um, I mean, before we look, the season will be over in 55 days, they said, 28 games, 55 days, some shit they were saying. But, you know, it was cool. Uh, it's cool just to have, you know, see everybody come together right now in the tough time. You know, new coach. Uh, you know, we're all trying to figure out how he wants to run things. So, you know, it'll be good. So it's good that we all came together and just trying to help everybody achieve that common goal and that's to get into the playoffs and win games to finish this off. So it was good. And you mentioned about how Jock has been here longer than you and when the impact that he's had just on you and your career. Have you gotten a chance to have a conversation with him since everything happened or have you gotten a chance to just send him a message? No, not yet. Um, obviously, these last few days have been hectic. Uh, you know, come back from break, you know, and then we have him practice. Trying to, I'm trying to figure out KO's concepts, how he coach and how he wants things ran. So I really got a chance to it. But I'll definitely, I'll definitely, you know, try to get to him because, you know, how long I've been in the league? Like three years, and he's been here, so it's cool. But you know, it's tough. So if no one ever somebody lose their job, but you know, it's part of the NBA business. You know, if we're not producing as an organization, as a team, as a unit, then you know, some changes got to happen. But it's tough. But I'll definitely try to reach out to him, though, for sure.